Hello everyone, my name is Kinetic and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online Academy. Now I know what you're thinking, hey Kinetic, it's been a couple of weeks, where is the new Elder Scrolls Online video? Yeah it has, it's been about two weeks since I last put up a video of the Elder Scrolls Online and you've probably seen a ton of new Guild Wars 2 content that's being put up on the other channel which may make some of you wonder uh, what my plans are, what's my commitment still to uh, Elder Scrolls Online if any. absolutely nothing has changed guys it's just that for the Elder Scrolls Online I kind of got to that point where I did the videos that I had set out to make initially and then I was kind of scratching my head like hmm uh well what's next and so I just kind of waited to see like what was going to come out of uh like news sources what more Zenimax was going to say Bethesda about the Elder Scrolls Online and they've actually been on tour going from country to country for different gaming conventions obviously they went to QuakeCon they went to PAX, they're going to uh, another event, I think it's called Eurogamer, coming up really soon. And so uh, more information is coming out and more interviews are being done with different news and media groups and stuff like that. This is something that I found on the website Tamriel Foundry. If you don't know the website, you should definitely check it out. They've got a really cool article here which I want to talk about and give you guys uh, my opinions and impressions about. It's called the Skill Overview of the Dragon Knight and this is one of the coolest articles I've seen about the Elder Scrolls online yet. It goes into some really cool uh, information about the Dragon Knight class and this comes after I guess the Tamriel Foundry's uh, hands-on time at PAX Prime and they're going to um, I think it looks like at London's Eurogame Expo that's what I was talking about earlier so maybe we'll get some more information about a different class uh, coming out of that event but for now what we've got is a really nice look at some of the Dragon Knights uh, skill tree line we've got three of them here in this article the first one that they talk about is the Ardent flame which uh, strikes me as a, a bit more of a DPS type of build for the Dragon Knight it's got uh, obviously some flame fire kind of uh, based attacks and abilities here and what's really cool is they list not just like normal abilities but they also list the ultimates and the passive traits as well for each of these lines so let me talk about a couple of these while we're going through them here the ultimate for the Ardent Flame is called a Dragon Knight Standard. And it says, plant a standard dealing damage to all nearby enemies and reducing the incoming healing they receive. This sounds like a very powerful ability that will go down and uh, really put more pressure on whatever group of enemies that uh, you happen to be taking on at that time definitely we've got uh, some hey no surprise here fiery reach some more, more fire based and uh, fiery named kinds of things here uh, we've actually seen this before fiery reach is that ability that you've probably seen in videos where it looks like the scorpion ability from mortal kombat the the dragon knight throws out a chain and then pulls the enemy to them this is definitely the ability that players will want to keep handy to uh, to make sure that they keep the pressure off of their healers. If they see their healer running for their life, then definitely help them out. Throw out some fiery reach to your buddies there. They'll thank you for it later. We've also got uh, fiery breath. This sounds pretty cool. It's deal fire damage to all enemies in front of you, igniting them for additional damage over time. Very, very cool. Some of the passive stuff that stood out to me our um, warmth deal fire damage applies a snare to enemies that's pretty interesting dealing fire applies a snare not only is that l like <laughs> more damage but that's also some crowd control ability as well that sounds really really cool and then also there's world in flame this stood out as well to me increases the damage of fire based AOE abilities so what we might see here is from the ardent flame you'll be able to see the dragon knight kind of going over to his uh, his mage buddy or something like that in the group and be like hey i see you've got a a, a destruction staff there let's uh, let's let's do something cool together you know then they, he can cast some fire stuff or whatever and um it will work exceptionally well with uh the world in flame coming from the dragon knight 
Next up we've got Draconic Power, which is definitely the more tanky defensive kinds of, of uh, abilities for the Dragon Knight. We've got the ultimate, which is called Dragon Leap, and this is definitely one of the coolest looking abilities that I've seen. We've seen this in some videos. Leap forward on magical wings dealing AoE damage upon landing and knocking nearby foes backwards. Also we've got a very interesting active ability here called Dark Talons, root to all nearby enemies, dealing additional damage to enemy enemy to any enemies not already affected by talons. I wonder how many Dragon Knights with Draconic Power and Dark Talons uh, are able to use Dark Talon together in a group of enemies and is there any uh, diminishing return if you keep using or what the cooldown perhaps is like on uh, Dark Talons and if an enemy happens to recently have been affected by Dark Talons can they still be affected the same way by another Dragon Knight that may be doing the exact same thing uh, in a really short time soon after the initial Dark Talons has worn off hmm Something else that really stood out to me for Draconic Power is Inhale. Absorb he health from every enemy nearby, then return damage to affected foes depending on the total amount of health absorbed. That sounds like something really, really effective for um, for big groups of enemies. And again, it, it's making me wonder the same thing about Dark Talons like, are there any diminishing returns? I think that's the term that I'm looking for here. Are there diminishing returns for enemies, be it PvE or PvP, that have uh, been affected recently with um, the Dragon Knight's Draconic Power abilities like this? Something cool on the passive end of things, we've got increased passive health regeneration for each dragon ability on your bar. That's the Elder Dragon passive. And we've also got Burning Heat increases healing received for each dragon ability on your bar. So the more of this stuff that uh, you equip from the Draconic Power, then the more that these passives seem to, uh, to help you out. So yeah, that's looking really, really cool. Definitely the type of thing that uh, I think tanks are looking for. And next up we have Earthen Heart with some very group oriented kind of utilities and definitely screams support for the Dragon Knight compared to the other trait lines. For the ultimate we've got Magma Armor which limits incoming damage at a maximum percentage of your health per hit while dealing fire damage to all foes around you. That sounds really, really cool. We've also got something here called Molten Weapons, an AoE buff aura which increases the power of all nearby allies with double benefit applied to the Dragon Knight. Petrify applies a long duration stun to the target. The petrified enemy can take some damage while stunned, but sufficient damage will permanently end the stun. This is pretty interesting because in most MMORPGs, at least that I have seen, where a long duration stun is applied, it means that should any damage affect that target whatsoever, it would immediately break that stun. But it's interesting here that the petrified enemy can take some damage, so perhaps if there is a uh, damage over time, such as a poison or a, a burning kind of uh, effect or whatever on that enemy, it may not break them out of that stun, but if you go over there like trying to smash his face in with a hammer while he's stunned, it's definitely going to, uh, to knock some sense back into him and make him come out of it. And then some passive abilities here which also sound very similar to the way that the other passives work for the other trait lines. We've got Deep Breath activating an ultimate ability restores resources to the Dragon Knight based on the ultimate cost and things like Eternal Mountain increase the duration of Earthen Heart abilities and gain additional ultimate charge when activating an Earthen ability that's Mountain's Blessing. So it's, it seems like the passives that you unlock quite a few of these cases with uh, with these passives in the different trait lines, they really only seem to serve benefiting the same trait lines abilities and the same trait lines ultimates. So the more that I think that you kind of specialize 
in a particular trait line, the more efficient that you will be at it, the more that you mix things up, um, the less benefit you may see from uh, from the passive abilities. I guess it all depends on how you mix things together for, uh, for your Dragon Knight. And that is all I've got for you guys. That's just a quick overview of what the Dragon Knight has in store. And again, this is all beta kinds of things. This is uh, still months away from seeing release so we could probably expect to see uh, some some changes to perhaps these abilities and uh, maybe some will be added maybe some will be taken out but for the full info on the skill overview from this article definitely check out Tamriel Foundry's full written article uh, posted September 16th there's a link to it down in the description below and like I said guys my commitment to ESO has not waned one bit it's just gonna be yeah it's gonna be a matter of waiting for me to see uh, what kinds of cool things that I can dig up around the internet from uh, various different news groups and stuff like that and um, yeah if something happens to stand out then I'll be really glad to come out and show you guys what I found and give you my thoughts on it let me know what you guys think about the Dragon Knight in the comments section below and make sure that you stay subscribed for more Elder Scrolls Online coming up very soon. My name is Kinetic and I'll see you guys next time.